I'm a neurologist. I've been a neurologist for the 25 years in practice, uh, five years of training, uh, both in psychiatry and neurology. Uh, my practice has been uh, quite variegated um, in regards to seeing everything uh, that's not good about the brain from uh, pediatri pediatric uh, conditions such as autism and developmental disorders, uh, all the way through to ALS, Parkinson's disease, uh, and Alzheimer's disease. Um, I recently had the uh, opportunity uh, to refocus my clinical practice primarily on ALS patients. Every person who becomes part of my practice uh, literally becomes part of my family. Uh, so if you don't mind having your doctor harass you to make sure that you've gotten uh, the right diagnostic workup and that you're on the right treatments, uh, I'm probably not the right doctor for you. Doctors can learn more from their patients than we can actually learn from them. And that's actually true. Uh, the first handful of patients that I had seen had complained of recurrent GI issues, uh, recurrent infections, uh, as well as uh, exposure to mold, uh, which appeared to make their symptoms worse. Uh, at first, I kind of poo-pooed the idea. I didn't really think that uh, infections had anything to do with neurodegenerative diseases. Uh, but as I began to look at the research, I became more and more convinced uh, that, in fact, infections are uh, a primary comorbid or driver of pathology in the nervous system, including ALS. There's a, a, a growing interest and focus on personalized medicine uh, throughout the entire ecosystem of oncology, neurology, psychiatry, uh, and other fields of medicine in which each person or patient is an N of one, meaning that uh, it's more important to establish uh, a therapeutic regimen that is based upon the specific biology uh, of that patient's condition. Uh, I think that otherwise we get into this uh, cookie cutter uh, concept that one size fits all. Uh, we know it's not true in ALS particularly for several reasons. Uh, one is there are genetic uh, uh, abnormalities associated with familial ALS, uh, which puts us on a different treatment course uh, than in sporadic ALS. Sporadic ALS also has many uh, various different uh, etiologies that lead to motor neuron pathology. Uh, these can include patients that have had autoimmune diseases, uh, patients with underlying malignancies, uh, or patients with chronic infectious disease characterized by low white blood cell count uh, and low immunity.